second video on this leaker and um, I could find it with the nitrogen but I wanted to give you a visual so on this one I filled it up with a little vapor refrigerant remember I put trace dye and refrigerant oil in here on the suction line and I knew there was a leak somewhere down there can you see that little glowing dot right there that's my refrigerant dye let's see if I can focus in a little better right there there's a little puncture in the side of the suction line now it doesn't it almost doesn't leak at low pressure at about 20 psi it almost stops leaking it could hold pressure almost up to 70 psi and then after 70 psi when you've seen in my previous video when i was using the nitrogen i filled it up and once it got up to like 130 100 it just started gushing nitrogen out of the hose and i could locate it with my fingers but i couldn't give a visual this way I could give a visual, show the shop. Now remember I told you, this is an easy find. This was able to be found with nitrogen. That a shop chooses to do air conditioning, buy a 5,000, 8,000, 10,000, $20,000 AC machine, but they don't own any black lights, they don't have AC dye, they don't have uh, nitrogen, they don't have a ultrasonic leak detector, they own a cheap, 200 or $300 leak detector that doesn't work worth a shit or it only works when it's new and then starts losing its ability to work properly or false triggers. That is a direct reflection of the owner of the shop. If the owner of the shop is ignorant, lazy, or chooses to be cheap, these are human traits that need to be stamped out of our gene pool. And as long as you have shops doing shitty shit like this, you work for a screwed shop. And because you as a technician, if you're listening to this, will never make money working under a shop owner who's incompetent. He'll make his money first, but you're screwed. If you're a customer and you're unfortunate enough to go to one of these shops, you will be sold shit on your car that is not needed because they don't know how to diagnose. They don't put out the money for training. They don't put out the money for equipment. And a shop owner will go, oh, but my guys steal from me or my guys break my tools or my guys, they keep leaving me. Well, you know what? That's a real clue of where the problem lies. Look in the mirror. That's where the problem lies. If it's a shop that's constantly having turnover with their employees, that's just screwed management. I remember my, my grandfather used to tell me that. And my father used to tell me that before I got into business. And once I got into business, I could go down a block from here and I'm in shop where guys are there for 20 years. All the most expensive equipment is left out. Guys have tools everywhere. Nothing gets stolen they do decent work the shop owner pays for education and they're always trying to do better then I get to a shop who's always looking for the cheapest guy and he might put on a show by buying expensive equipment and making everything clean and shine it's all all advertisement it's all bullshit up front but that's the makeup for the competent of the little dick issue he's compensating for by fucking up on people's cars and being cheap remember cheap is a choice this was a very easy find there was no reason not to find this at all not whatsoever there is no excuses for a multi-million dollar shop not to be able to find a leak like this that's all i gotta say uh, it's my ranting and raving for now but the leak is found now i'll go into recovery so as long as i leave this on this section side is under 20 PSI, and this is basically not leaking right now. It leaks when the pressure is higher. If I turn off the engine and I stop the AC, the pressure will rise and it'll start leaking. So right now, I could go throw it on the recovery machine and I could recover the refrigerant that I use so I can show you a visual using um, dye down there where the leak was and uh, let them know what they need to do. But I always, I'm always willing to show shops and tell them, I, I tell them, they go, you know, they might ask, what do I need? I go, well, you get one of these. So there's four or $500, whatever. And you get one of these, that's almost a hundred dollars if you just want to get one. Uh, my, a good refrigerant leak detector will start at over $500 and above. Some are almost over $300. The really good ones, a thousand. I go, here's a thousand. You need a refrigerant identifier to find contaminated refrigerant so you don't suck it in. There's a, another $3,000 plus. 
and uh and the list goes on and as soon as they hear that price and they have to teach their guys how to use stuff oh and i forgot nitrogen using nitrogen and they hear all this they want the money they want the easy low-hanging fruit so they'll get a machine but then they'll be cheap ass motherfuckers and not buy the equipment to actually fix the car and diagnose the cu customer's problems probably they'll just start replacing fucking parts and this is the shit i'm trying to stamp out in our industry and help people know you need one of these you need one of these you need one of those you need a recovery machine you need at least a good set of gauges and most of all the equipment needs nothing without education you guys need to send yourselves or owners need to send their guys for training not learning on the jobs screwing up and breaking people's shit using the equipment and then charging them for screwing up their equipment and breaking it there's a lot of those guys out there too all right i'll see you guys I got to get out of here and I got work to do.